Well, the family of a former football player is now suing his alma mater two years after investigators say he killed six people and took his own life. The shooting happened in 2021. The York County Sheriff's Office received multiple calls reporting gunshots on Marshall Road in Rock Hill. This is a look at that scene. The responding deputies found one person, HVAC repairman James Lewis, shot and killed outside the house where he'd been working. While his co-worker was found injured and taken to the hospital, he later died from his injuries. Old Dr. Robert Leslie and his wife Barbara and their two grandchildren, nine-year-old Ada and five-year-old Noah, were also killed in the shooting. Dr. Leslie and his wife were well-known in the community and actively involved in Camp Joy in Western North Carolina, a Christian co-ed camp for those with special needs. The deputies say they found Adams at his family home, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The motive in the shooting is still unknown. After his death, doctors diagnosed Adams with CTE. That's a brain disease common in football players who suffer repeated blows to the head. Well, Adams had played college football for SC State University before going pro. Although research about CTE is still in the, its early stages, the Alzheimer's Association says it has been linked with personality changes, erratic behavior, aggression, and suicide. Now Adams' family is suing the school, claiming Adams sustained head trauma while playing football. They also say the school never properly treated Adams, nor educated him on the long-term health impacts he could suffer. Now we did reach out to the school for comment, but a spokesperson for SC State said the university does not comment on pending litigation.